a guest I just had on earlier, um, Jim, I was talking about Jim and he's got these four, the four discipline, the four disciplines of execution. And the last one is accountability. Mm. And we spent a bit of time talking about this. And so, you know, you, you said strength, you know, kindness sounds like a weakness, but actually th- what we kind of talked about today on that one was, you know, it's, it's a kind thing to do, to hold somebody accountable, to make them a better person. You know, to, to yeah. hold them up to the values and the standards that they can achieve or you believe in them to a certain way. And to do that in a kind way, right, yeah. is a powerful thing. So you can you can see all the applications of kindness. It's even though it looks oh, yeah. like you're, Absolutely. you know, instead of being, you know, sometimes accountability sounds terrible. You know, if it's applied wrong, it can be, you know, not a nice thing. Um, but if you do it in a kind way, it's a supporting way. It could be very powerful. Yeah, and sometimes the kindness of accountability doesn't feel like kindness initially, right? You know, it it, it feels like oh. uh, you know. I think it you know when it when it actually is, you know, I think that it's uh, so. Cu- and it can, actually, that that can actually when you said that, I had a different thought, which is, you know, that someone's coming from a real, true, a place of real love, right? They're being kind to you, yeah. and they're holding you accountable. Well, I mean, that, that feels that, worse than not doing it. That feels worse than your own self criticism. Because someone yeah. believes in, you know, I believe in you and, and I'm doing this in the kindest way possible to implore you to be the person you can be. Yeah. And I think that uh, I have a philosophy about that. I, I think that, um, you know, when you do the work of developing trust with people, it gives you some license uh, to be direct. So you know? true. So when you do the work of developing trust and developing when people know that you care about them, but they know it without a shadow of a doubt, you've, you've purchased some goodwill. Yes. To then be very direct with people. Now, I think that sometimes in business cases where you just don't have the time <clears throat> and you need to drive success in something, you, you, you know, I think it, it's good to, you know, to, to buy that goodwill very quickly by saying, by asking permission okay. to be direct with people and, and holding them accountable and say, hey, can I, do you, would it be okay if I gave you some feedback right now? Right. You know, yeah. Some, some permission. direct feedback. Otherwise, right. uh, I think it's, you know, doing the work of, and so I think you know, intentionally being somebody who, 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 who builds credibility throughout the organization gives you the light i mean throughout the organ building credibility yeah. throughout the organization with everybody you encounter gives you the license to to hold people accountable to, in a way that you may not otherwise be able to you know if you if you're if you're not viewed as somebody who's credible and you then try to yes. hold people accountable that just falls on deaf ears fast there's yeah. nothing i almost i don't i can't think of anything more irrit- irritating you know? <laughs> actually that's really annoying right <laughs> yeah that, yeah. that is really annoying but if you are really consistent and you've you got a genuine heart, you're kind, if people will take it, they'll take it to heart. So accountability is a, a, a core value of mine personally. I, and, and, you know, I'll say this little tidbit, you know, you can identify your core values by things that irritate you. You know, if something <laughs> somebody does irritates you, then, you know, you can stop and say, OK, that's a core value of my speaking to me. You know, that's something that's important to me. You know, you don't have to act against that person in your irritation. You can stop and have some reflection and say, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a core value of mine speaking to me. Right. So when I when I come across people who are making excuses for why they weren't able to do what they were meant to do, uh, excuse making to All me. Right. And I'm also very sensitive to the idea when I'm when I want to explain something that happened, I feel <laughs> like I'm making an excuse. So I'm, I have to, I almost, I catch myself all the time saying, this is going to sound like an excuse and I don't mean it to be, but this is what happened, you know? And, and but so, here's my, re- here's my excuse. Yeah, but it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's a, it's a core, anyway, I, for whatever that's worth, I like to say that to people because I, I think some people, uh, you know, who may be hearing this podcast may not know how to identify what their core values are. And that's one yes. way of yeah. doing it, I, understanding hey, if something ir- somebody shows up late and that really grinds at you, man. You know, that's something that you can say, oh, OK, well, punctuality is a core value of mine. You know? Yeah, I, I like right. that because I, I think you're right. People may not truly understand what it what a value for them is, what a core value. I like that something really gets under your skin. You're like, oh, that matters to me. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, make it make now a note. You know, right now, you know, and, and things that you do intentionally, and maybe even just subconsciously as you act throughout yes. your day. You no, know, I'm probably expressing some of these core values through throughout, and, and try to recognize. It's about learning who you are as a professional. I, I'd say there's maybe uh, one of the most important things you can do as a young professional is find out who you are. Right. What makes you tick? You know, yeah. what drives you? What? And that's not an easy answer, right? It, to me, no. it was really, I was really lucky to be in HR because I took copious amounts of assessments. I, you know, got lots of feedback and, you know, being around people who challenge yes. you is a real gift uh, as a young yeah. professional. It may not feel like a gift, but it really is because it really <laughs> drives to, you know, you start to realize what are my, what motivates me? What are my motives? Why do I yeah. do the things I do? You know, you start answering those questions, you start finding out who you are as a professional, and you can really navigate your career more adeptly. Um, that's that's probably a little, that I wanted to. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. I love the conversation. Uh, very natural.